What's going on guys, Gary Yaman here, back at again with a new video, and in this video I'm going to compare the Canon EOS M50 to the Sony A6000. Both of them are crop sensor cameras, both of them have very good reliable autofocus, but still there are some um, differences in regards to image quality uh, in both in video and in photo. So. Uh, let's compare them first of all let's compare the body and size and everything i'm not going to talk about too much about the um the specs because you can just read them on the official canon website or the official sony website but as you can see both of them are really compact the grip of the sony is a little bit better than the uh, grip of the canon at least for my own preference and then we got the back side of this as you see this one has of course the uh, fully articulated screen and this one doesn't have it just have like this so that's about it um yeah let's jump ahead to the photo uh comparison side by side so i'm just gonna leave them right here and then we're gonna switch now to the photos as you see in the photos they both look very pretty much the same you can buy the same lenses for those uh, cameras so you can buy the sigma lenses uh, for instance i own the sigma 16 mil f 1.4 for both of them so that you can also compare them and you see that the image quality in regards to photo it does not um, differ too much there is a slight difference maybe in the um, colors a little bit but you can adjust them if you shoot in raw so no real differences in regards to photos however taking photos with the sony a6000 i feel that it's more um, enjoyable at least for me because for me the rangefinder uh, style of um, camera it really works for me as a maybe for streets or just as a carry around then in regards to this um, like a traditional style of camera you know I rather pick the Sony A6000 up for photography. It's just more enjoyable for me at least to use. I would strongly suggest go out and try both of them to see which one fits your needs because with both of them you can do pretty much the same things. The Sony is maybe a little bit more suitable as well for sports or more fast moving objects because the autofocus is just a little bit faster but also the buffer does not run out as fast as with the canon eos m50 all right so now we jump to the video quality how does they look let's put them side by side and see how it compares and actually it almost looks the same as well the autofocus is for both of them very reliable and i think i don't see any real differences both can shoot up to uh, 60 frames per second and uh, the only difference is that the Canon EOS M50 does have the option to do 4K video, but you will lose the dual pixel autofocus, and you will also um, have a and you will also have a huge crop in factor with the Canon EOS M50 when you shoot 4K. And actually, that's it. You know, for so for video, I think the the winner is this one because you can also uh, make YouTube videos by looking at yourself. So that's very convenient. And I really like that. And you also got the microphone input, which you don't have with the Sony a6000. But you do have that on the Sony 6100, which is more of a uh, better comparison, maybe, uh, in regards to the uh, Canon EOS M50. So which one should you buy? It really depends on your own needs. Uh, for me, at least, because I spent more time behind the camera, I'm going to use the Sony a6000 and um, the reason for that is because i just find it more enjoyable but that's my own little preference but if you do a lot of video work and a lot of youtube videos then i strongly suggest buy this one because this will make your life a little bit more easier but in regards to image quality and the colors they pretty much look the same some people like the image of the canon some people will like the image of the uh, of the sony so for me uh, as a photographer, I would go with the Sony X6000, but as a videographer and the options like the extra microphone uh, input, I strongly suggest buy the Canon EOS M50. Alright, that's all. Thank you again for watching. Subscribe if not already, like the video, comment down below, and I'll see you in the next one.